Hey everybody, this is my first and probably my last, but let's not rule it out, makeup tutorial. That's right, makeup tutorial. Technically, nails. Uh, if you are a dude who paints their nails, rock. Um, so I am going to repaint these with uh, actually probably the same shade. And I will do that with first taking off my uh, nail polish with some cheap nail polish remover and then putting it back on with some materials from my nail polish bag. Yes, this is a princess bag. Them's breaks. So, it is one of those things where I used to bite my nails a lot and I don't anymore. I remember posting on Facebook somebody had asked about nail biting and I said yeah I bite my nails and I'd love to stop because I want to paint my nails because I have a desire to paint my nails and well, my relationship with masculinity is complex but I realized later that I was actually doing it backwards so I got a friend of mine to teach me to paint my nails and I said I'm just I've put it in the pad and I'm gently applying it to the nail and it comes off really easily. This this shit is, it's like mostly acetone and water. Don't spill this on anything, um, but it will remove the nails and like the top layer of skin from pretty much anything it comes in contact with. Anyway, I, I so I painted my nails and as soon as I started painting my nails, I almost immediately Essentially, immediately, I stopped biting them. I remember having a conversation with somebody, and they were like, oh, well, yeah, it's because you don't want to eat paint. And I'm like, no, I mean, I don't, but that's not why. It's because they're pretty, and I like it when they're pretty, and I don't want to mess them up. So now I have these long-ass nails for a dude, which is kind of awesome. And I am a big fan. The big difference, I think, between this and guy liner or, or other sort of forms of makeup that dudes wear um, is probably I'm just lazy and nail polish can stay on for weeks. Like mine, will, I will leave mine on even when it starts to look a bit like garbage. So you can, you can leave it on there for quite a while. It'll last. You don't have to reapply it every day. You don't have to worry about it getting wrecked once you're on there, unless you're really particular about it, in which case, uh, by all means, be very particular about it. I'm just not. You know, this is this has been on my hand for about three weeks, and it's definitely starting to come out at the edges. Three weeks, two weeks. It's and it's coming out at the edges, but um, some of my fingers are fine. A lot of it depends on what I'm doing. I play guitar, so one of the things that means is my left hand nails are always trimmed super short compared to my right ones, you know, because otherwise they jam up on my frets and I get really, really frustrated. But also, it means that the, the polish on my left hand picks up a lot more scratches and scrapes than my right hand. All my right hand does is pretty much run a, a mouse, a keyboard, and a camera. Uh, my left hand runs my fretboard. Uh, the only exceptions to that are, of course, are these two fingers, which I use for like finger picking and stuff. But nuances of guitar. Point being that if you do a lot of stuff with your hands, your mileage will definitely vary on nail polish. It'll also vary on kinds of nail polish, what your nails are like, and a million other things. I should note. I am not good at this. Uh, I'm okay. Uh, you'd be amazed how many transferable skills you get from nail painting to from uh, mini painting, and painting D&D miniatures and things like that, but uh, it is enough that it makes me happy and I like doing it. It's one of those sort of casual um, beauty regimen things that you can sort of pick up without really thinking about it, especially as a person who doesn't really think about beauty regimens as a thing. But now, I have cleaned all the polish off my nails, and I'm basically going to let them dry for a little bit, and also probably trim them. 
and nobody wants to watch that, so I'm going to cut it out. So, uh, nails are dry. Um, there's not a lot of the acetone left on them, because if you start applying it while they're still damp, it'll evaporate pretty quickly. But if you start applying while they're still damp, it'll mess up the bottom layer of your polish. So, I am using this, which was given to me by a person at work. Um, it is 312 Superstitious. And so, funny story, as I apply this, I'm colorblind. I'm super colorblind. I don't, I never actually know what color my nails are. I rely on other people to tell me. So, and what I'm, so I don't actually know what color this is, but people tell me it's some kind of blue. So what I'm doing here is, and I'm attempting to find a way for you to see it, is essentially you spread out the bristles and just drag it gently. It's not really like painting. You're just allowing it to touch the nail while it's wet. And the more you can get the bristles to spread out and the more area you can cover, the easier it's gonna be. I always sort of dip after another finger, but that's after each finger. But, and again, I'm going to spread this out and drag it down. Never ever go up. At the very least, um, I have never had good experiences with it. The goal is really even brush strokes that all go in the same motion from top to bottom. If you find to get yourself getting bubbles or lines, you will have an urge to fix them. Resist that urge, I say as I attempt to fix them. But you will always be putting on another coat well, not always, but you will put on another coat and that will smooth out a bunch of it. If you wind up with nail polish on the edge of your fingers, which is almost certain to happen, uh, whatevs, uh, you can remove it with a Q-tip and a bit of nail polish remover. Uh, or the pad if you're like super artful or you like, you know, your hand slips. But um, more often than not, I simply ignore it. Um, I managed to be pretty accurate. I will again credit uh, Nerd uh, Mini Painting for that. But also, um, it's only on the top layer of your skin, which will probably slough off by tomorrow evening. So if you're just like, you know what, F it. F it is a perfectly reasonable reaction, don't worry about it. If there's one thing I have learned, uh, I've been wearing nail polish for almost a year now. And if there's one thing I have learned about being a dude who wears nail polish, it is don't worry about it. I was super worried about it for a while because, I mean, toxic masculinity, etc., etc. What are other dudes going to think? What are other people going to think? And the answer is, almost universally, no one cares. There are two responses I get to my nail polish. Uh, one of them is from dudes uh, who will typically tease me. Um, a lot of the time now, like especially in the last six months or so, um, and they only usually tease me once, but uh, they will assume that I have kids or my nie I, I, I will have mentioned my nieces at some point, and they will think that kids paint my nails. You know, that notion that if, if your four-year-old says you, she wants to paint your nails, guess what? You're getting your nails painted. But, uh, you know, or they think I did it for, like, Halloween or something like that. Um, the interesting thing is that when I am all over the place, it's seriously weird. 
um, women will be like, oh man, I love your nail polish. Which is supremely strange to me. Because it isn't even that good. Like, it often looks like trash. Um, so I've just switched hands. And let me tell you that I'm right-handed, and doing your offhand is a hell of a lot trickier. But... I will hand someone the change at market or my, or my money at, at a farmer's market, and they'll be like, oh, nice nail polish. Um, my typical response is simply, thank you, because it's a very nice thing for people to say. But I haven't put too much thought into it beyond that. Uh, if you were the kind of dude who would wear nail polish and you were worried that people will think you are gay or queer or something like that, don't worry. Um, anybody who is going to think that probably already thinks that. Um, seriously, it was a lot of fun. And I find it emboldens me. As much as you see those makeup com commercials and they're complete bullshit, there's a sense of being like, you know what? Fuck all this shit. I'm just going to wear nail polish. And the notion that, again, nobody really cares, you just sort of do whatever you want, is a lovely feeling. Not to mention you get to have really nice, cool-looking nails basically all the time. I haven't explored nail art yet. I've only been at this for a while. I don't really have a deep desire for nail art. Hell, this is my first matte polish ever. Uh, polishes come typically in matte and metallic, uh, and all of my other ones are metallic. Um, but if you were looking for, for some nail art tips, I will link some in the show notes, because I do watch YouTube like a 15-year-old girl, which means I follow a bunch of makeup art channels and makeup tutorials. Because they're really fun and they have a good time. So, I'm about to finish my last finger. I'm actually going to wipe some of that polish off because there isn't a lot of fingernail there. Um, and what you're going to want to do, you always want to do a second coat. Much like painting a shed or anything else, your first coat is just to get that color on there. Your second coat is going to touch up what you missed. So I don't know if you can see, but there's definitely some spots here that I missed. My, 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 my right hand is always garbage because I've got to do it with my left. But so always, always, always do a second coat, but wait for your first coat to dry. Otherwise, you're applying new polish. It's just like paint. You're applying new polish while you're and you're swirling around the old stuff and it's just going to cause way more problems than it solves so i'm going to let this dry for a bit and it, it won't take very long like five ten minutes and probably not even that uh, and then we'll do my second coat all right so it's been about i don't know five minutes or so i like to uh try and dry things faster by waving my hands around like i just don't care but uh you know whatever's up for uh whatever works for you so we're going to do the second coat, and we're just going to do this one super fast, same as the first, uh, spread evenly. Uh, I always try and make sure that I get it in the cracks that I missed, which is sort of the obvious reason to do a second coat, but we'll get there. And there we go. So two coats is about what I like to do with a thick polish, and you can see that they look lovely means once this is dry it's going to be time for clear coat again give it about five maybe ten minutes uh go and watch another video on this channel or go and watch another video somewhere else and come back um or i mean just walk away and make a sandwich and then whatever don't make a sandwich. Don't make a sandwich. We'll talk about that in the next, in, in the next section. I've been a little while. Your polish is dried. 
I did mention I would talk about sandwiches, but first we're going to get out of the clear coat. Clear coat is just something that protects your polish from everyday wear and tear. It'll also smooth out a bit of the rough edges if you got some, assuming I can open it. I might need to go and get someone to help me. Clear coat is basically glue. Um, it's like white glue, or not white glue, clear glue that's going to go on your hand and keep your polish protected. You don't need a lot of it, but you'll notice that it creates its own brush strokes and its own smoothness. Sandwiches. So, lessons I have learned as a dude who did not grow up putting nail polish on and didn't ever think about it. Um, while you are applying nail polish, obviously there is wet paint on your fingers. So, applying, and the usual concerns about wet paint are like, oh, I'm going to get wet paint on stuff, but you're also going to get stuff in your wet paint. And that means that uh, applying your fingers to like a sandwich after you've put nail polish on is uh, not going to go super well. You're going to get breadcrumbs in your polish. You're going to be like, F, I got breadcrumbs in my polish, and I got to take off the polish on that finger and do it again. Um, this applies to literally anything you come in contact with. Um, be forewarned, once you've applied nail polish, until it's dry, and I mean like dry, this stuff will take like an hour to like start to like cure. Once it's, until it's dry, operating you know, those kinds of objects, you can totally do it, but it is going to fuck up your polish. Um, the most notable one of these objects, FYI, is your fly. Your fly is made of a whole bunch of little metal pieces that will put scratches in your nail polish. Don't ask me how I know that. It's not important. Don't worry about it. Just listen to my advice. So yeah, things things that you maybe never thought of because it's like your first time doing it or like your first couple of times doing it and you're still learning this stuff and nobody tells you because nobody thinks to tell you because they're all like, duh, why is this not completely obvious to you? And you're like, because I don't have any idea what I'm doing. So yeah, no, no touchy basically. The only thing that I will run um, after applying nail polish like I am right now is a keyboard. And even then... I will often wind up with tiny scars in my polish from the tops of the keys on my keyboard. Whenever you push a key down, your finger will sometimes press against the next key above it, and that'll put that pressure can put um, scratches in your polish. Again, my advice from earlier stands: don't worry about it too much. Uh, worry about it to the the exact extent that you feel like worrying about it. But ideally, that is not too much at all. So I like to use two coats of clear coat. Just because it makes me feel more secure. And I like to use it to sort of smooth out and gloss over some of the imperfections in the polish that I've applied. But again, um, a lot of it's just practice and brushwork and all the rest of that. It sounds like a weird thing to say, but all the principles of painting apply here, except you can't put it on with a roller. And I guess you could, but it'd be really weird and it's a curved surface. Um, remember that no matter how closely you look at your nail polish and how, like, terrible and garbage and flawed it seems. Most people don't investigate it that closely, so they're not paying near as much attention to it as you are. Um, that said, you will probably look at the nail polish of the women in your life. Um, I know lots of women who are awesome at doing nail polish or and makeup, or who um, go to like cool-ass nail places and get it done, and you can do that too. I've never been. 
but perhaps one day I will go and I will do a video about what that is like. But, and you will notice that their nail polish seems completely flawless and uh, I have no idea how to do that. I, I I don't like you like perfectly smooth nails etc no clue I imagine that that has a lot to do with nail care as well which if you are a fastidious uh, gentleman you likely already do I am uh, less fastidious about my nails so I don't I just paint them so you might have smoother nails than me in which case that's super cool but ultimately it's just about doing a thing you want and having a good time and the moral of the story is as always don't worry about it too much you got way bigger problems in life than nail polish if you do experience harassment as a result of uh, putting on nail polish um, I recommend you DDT that person through a table and then uh, never associate with them again. Alternately, uh, biting words. My typical reaction, and uh, like I said, this has only come up once or twice, and it is always dudes doing it, but your mileage will vary, um, is to simply make it completely obvious that of course this is a thing that I do why would they think it is weird you know did you paint your own nails yeah duh who does yours but ultimately I mean people who are gonna harass you over the color of your nails uh, aren't really worth hanging out with I'm just applying the last of the clear coat to my nails. Like I said, this will take about an hour to uh, cure. Two hours is where I like to leave it. I've got some uneven edges that I'm not going to bother to clean up because I've got to edit this video now. And uh, there we are. How to be a dude and paint your nails. I'll see you all later. Pack everything back in my princess bag. Clean up. There we go.